really cute. This spray tan turned out. Oh my goodness. I'm starting to believe that this glow up is actually happening because like I'm wearing a bodycon dress. Like I haven't felt comfortable wearing a bodycon dress or anything super short in a while. So something's working here. Um, I'm just wearing this little Abercrombie Jackard, is that what it's called? Knit um, dress from Abercrombie. It's from last year. You guys probably, if you've been following me for a while, you might remember me trying it on because I ended up buying and keeping the tank top and the dress version of this because I just like it so much. And we're whipping it out again this season. And I have this new Madewell blazer from a partnership I'm working on with them. I'm working on showcasing some like summer, spring, summer styles. And so I got this, this is a 1X, but I got like this white linen blazer. I'm sorry, I'm struggling with the settings. <laughs> I just think it's really cute. And I especially think, let's get you, let's get some natural light go. Well, see, look how glowing this tan is everyone. First of all, hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Alex Michael May. I'm in the middle of a glow up, welcome. Please join me. Honestly, I think it was just like deciding that I was gonna feel better about myself and doing little things every day to do that. I've been walking a lot more. I need to be drinking more water. But yeah, just like little by little doing things that make me feel good. And look, I match my rug. That's a very me thing to do. But yeah, like I, you know, I have like, I'm in the same body. I'm just feeling more hotty. Yeah, I'm just like super impressed by how good this spray tan looks. Like I was super worried about it yesterday, as y'all knew, cause I vlogged about it, but I think this is great. And now I get to go see Ashley Graham for the second time in a week. She doesn't know who I am, but she knew a lot of the other girls in the audience. So it's like one day, maybe she'll know me. Maybe she will. And you know what? I just wanna look tan and hot in my best. I love these little seashell earrings. I'm an accessories girly. Um, so we need to get going because the thing started. So I'm gonna grab my bag and head out the door and duh, you're coming with me. Quite a sunset tonight. Sunset? Don't worry, I'm not driving, I'm in a lift. This very fancy neighborhood. Well, I was not expecting this. Oh my God. This is what I want my wedding to look like. Now, tell me, does Justin help you apply your San Tropez self tanner? He does when he's around. <laughs> because there's some hard to reach spots. I think I missed some. Sometimes I know that he'll be traveling. That was fun. Uh, let's put on our pajamas and see what's in the goodie bag and get unready. My hair was just not doing what I wanted it to all day. And now like all of a sudden, I feel like it's just starting to behave. Should we go out? <laughs> Actually, I got invited to something wild. Erica Jane is performing at Bootsy Bellows tonight, but it started at nine. It's 9.30 right now, we could go. I can't rally, I'm too tired. I, I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm just not feeling like myself lately. Even tonight at the party, I like, I don't know. I just felt like I wasn't, I used to not really mind going places alone. Sorry, it's so dark, I'll turn on a light. Whoa, let there be light. What's happening, oh my gosh, my hair. I'm not even gonna show you guys my closet right now. I'm gonna show you, no, cause if I show you, you could, you could like pause on the video. <gasps> no, it's so bad. Emily was like, oh, do you have plans this weekend? I'm like, why? She's like, she was like being, trying to like tell me that I had to clean my room. You're not my mom, Emily, but you kind of are. Well, I'm really grateful for you. <laughs> Someone has to keep it real with me, but I think we're gonna go to the cabin this weekend and that's a major deal because it's gonna be the first time I've spent the night at the cabin because we finally just got the mattress. Sparky went and got it for me today. I'm not gonna get completely nude in front of you guys. Okay, don't worry. Well, don't worry or don't get excited. I don't really know where you stand on the matter, but I had this little strapless like shapewear thing on today that was really awesome, but I ended up wanting shorts because this was like kind of short. So I have my old faithful, my favorite um, Wacol red carpet strapless on. Um, this spray tan though, it is immaculate and it really is making me feel a lot more confident. 
Ugh, I just need to sort my hair out. I don't know. You know, I'm just like getting back in the groove. I'm figuring out what I like. Like, what do I even like to wear? Like, who am I? It's really wild how we change and evolve all the time. But then one day you can wake up and be like, I don't feel like myself and I don't even know what myself is. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to get my boots off. Sometimes it's really hard. The first boot, easy, because you have the other heel. The second boot, challenging. Am I wrong? Especially when the heel's like too high for your toe to grab it. Oh my gosh, I got it. Eee! Come on. Whew, there we go. One sock. My gosh, my skin's so soft. I'm so much more diligent about moisturizing when I have a spray tan because I'm like, I'm not going to let this go. This usually costs good money. Not this time, but usually. Okay, let's put on cute pajamas. Spark is coming home and he thinks it's cute when I put on cute pajamas and I like waking up in cute pajamas, so let's put cute pajamas on. My favorite thing about my closet is that the lights turn on automatically. I don't think I've ever given you guys a proper closet tour because I don't think I've ever been in a position where my closet felt like I was okay showing it to you. Here's my pajama drawer. It's a little bit messy at the moment. What do we want? Oh, do we wear my like little Lunia shorts? They're so cozy. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do my little blue pajamas. Fun fact, my Nivea fam gave these to me when I went to visit them in New York. They were in the hotel room and it was one of the first times that a brand like really understood the memo that like <laughs> they got my size and it was still like a nice brand and I didn't feel left out and it was really special. That's one of a million reasons I love working with Nivea. There you are. I literally left my camera in the drawer. Cute pajamas on. We really do need to clean this closet. Here's the thing. My dream when I did this closet was for this to be a cute little place for us to shoot fashion stuff. But it just ends up getting overrun with everything. And then I don't. Like I put pressure on myself to solve like all my problems to be perfect like the house must be clean the cabin should be done this other project that i've been alluding to should be done the podcast i've mentioned should be done i should be doing more videos <sighs> the list goes on i should do every event my wedding should be planned i shit on myself a lot do you guys do that do you guys like always tell yourself like i should be doing this i should be doing that i want to show you guys something that has really there's always a random tripod in my house somewhere. I don't know how Sparky deals with me. My, like, I have overrun this house with all of my bad retail decisions and my work stuff. Okay, I got these little um, candles on Amazon. They could probably be more realistic. I really, if you guys know about really, really, really good faux pillar candles that look real, please let me know. But I'm gonna show you the ones that I got. I think they're fine. Um, Sparky and I both, both agreed that they're like, okay, like from afar, they're good. So they're all, they're remote. So I love coming in after a day and lighting. Oh, so there's two that should be on the table, but I'm actually selling this table. And so somebody came to look at it today and I took them off, but like, look how, how charming when you come home and there's just like all these candles glowing. So here's the problem. This one's actually really, really good. This is the one that I have on the front porch but it like bleached out and so I need to return it from Amazon and the other one start, stopped working. Anyway, but when you don't see it with that, I feel like it looks pretty good. Cause this one somehow just like, the, it's a different color. So it just looks more orange. Um, these though, by the way, were like such a great find on Amazon cause I think they look so real. I'm gonna show you the ones that are outside. Like look how warm and welcoming these look. There's one missing here and one missing there. But imagine when they're both in there. Like it just really is a vibe. There's something about parading around your own home in fancy pajamas, honestly. Let's see what's in this goodie bag and then let's get on ready. We can wash our face, do our skincare. Um, I don't usually get to see Sparky on um, weeknights because of our schedules, but I'm gonna wait up for him. Normally it's like, it's only 9.30, but he should be home at like 10, 15 or something. I've been trying to go to bed earlier at like, I, I think I talked about this in my last video, but I've been trying to go to bed by like 10.30. Cause I've noticed that if I don't, if I'm not asleep by 10.30, between 10.15 and 10.30, I like anytime before is fine, but sometimes you're just not ready and there's too much to do, etc. For me, I'll like act like I'm gonna and then I'll get caught up in something. But if I don't, I will hit like a second wind and I will just be like having all these creative ideas and all of a sudden I have to like research something or like read or like I just get like really like into stuff too late if I don't go to bed early and I actually talked to my therapist about it just because I'm always talking to her about like productivity and like 
how to like take the parts of my personality or the parts of my essence that maybe I can't change, such as the fact that I'm a very since she called like, I don't know if you guys know about highly sensitive people or like the empath, whatever, like, I don't know the medical diagnoses or whatever, but she always insists that I am a highly sensitive person, which I do agree because I'm just really sensitive, like a lot. Ooh, I need like a lot of downtime. I need a lot of like recharge time. Maybe that's why I don't feel like myself lately. Maybe we're getting to the bottom of it. Like I used to go to events all the time and feel like confident and fine and enjoy making friends. And lately I'm just like have so much social anxiety, like going. And then I, I like just do this thing where I'm like, everyone knows each other, everyone's friends. And like, I feel like an outsider. Like it zaps me back to be like in middle school where I feel awkward. And I've never felt that way. I used to feel like I would thrive in situations like that. And I love m meeting new people and having conversations that maybe it's because I'm not confident and I like don't want to be seen or I have this idea about who I am that I'm like, oh, like I'm just not that cool. Like, I don't know what's going on. It's just like lately and I've been doing events and stuff like this in LA, you guys, since like 2016. 2017 like even earlier I got exposed to some of them because I worked in the industry in other ways but it's interesting like this is such a huge part of my journey and my life and things I've done and like I like tonight I did see a friend and got to chat with her for like a, someone I know through the industry for a bit um and it was great and then I talked to like another PR girl and I met a few other people and everyone was super great I got to see Desi Perkins ah if you guys have like look back a couple like several years ago at vlogmas I like uh, got to go to a benefit party and she poured tequila in my mouth and like I'm obsessed with Desi oh my gosh she was at the party tonight and we actually took a picture of her like her friend asked us to like take a picture a friend of mine knew a friend of hers anyway whatever I was just like I get so like starstruck I guess and like embarrassed and stuff like after Ashley did her panel tonight I like we were right there and I was gonna just go up and like say hi and see her or whatever and I just like she got like mobbed obviously after and then I just like I hate pushing myself like I don't like to try too hard if that makes sense I don't know how to describe it it's like I don't want to compete to be like the loudest person in the room I have a big personality but when it comes to like being in public settings like if anyone else is like commanding attention or like doing their thing like I just naturally shy down and kind of like hide it's very strange um when my energy comes out and when it doesn't it's not something that I can be like oh cool like I can't like I'm gonna like whatever tonight it's not like it's I feel like it only comes out when I feel like really safe that's why I really only have like my most like vicious sense of humor and like the most me me in certain scenarios honestly I think that that's why I like this platform so much because I think like for some reason on YouTube I can just like be myself completely because I don't it feels so casual and I feel like you guys just get me and yeah sometimes it feels like when I have to condense what I want to say into like a 15 second thing to, and you have to try to grab people's attention like I don't I don't like fighting for attention like I like connection I don't like it's not about eyeballs right it's not about like oh cool this went viral it's about like what are the meaningful conversations that are having around something like did did this resonate so much with someone that they messaged me and told me it was impactful like that's what I think I get my energy from and so when it's one of these things and everyone's like fighting for like to get their perfect picture at sunset like the stress of it all I'm just like I'm good I don't even need a picture like tonight I almost didn't want to take a picture and I'm so sad I missed the sunset but it was stunning up there and I actually got let me show you I actually got a picture that I think was so cute took some really cute pictures of me and I was like um thanks girl like come on it looks like I'm on like the actual catwalk come on come on anyway let's actually see what's in this gift bag let's make a fake tripod on my purse oh I don't really know do I just put you oh, I can put you on my purse <sighs> how have I not figured this out yet okay ah ow I like sliced my boob at the corner of the bag Okay, let's see what's in this goodie bag. I was trying to be nifty and thrifty. Okay, we have a dual-sided velvet luxe applicator mitt. Honestly, though, this is serious. Okay, so I got my spray tan done yesterday by the celebrity spray tanner, which you guys saw. And I saw her tonight. She was well, and she was so funny, and I love her, and she's great. Um, but she's so funny. Um, she was just, like, having so much fun, and she's like... I don't know. I just think she's so funny and she's so cool. But anyway, I asked her, I'm like, how do you get this good of a spray tan at home? And here's what she told me. 
uh, which I do think if you guys want me to make a self, uh, like a, a self tanning, I da, 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 a self tanning video, um, based on the tips that she told me with these products, let's just do it. When this one wears off, we can try to replicate it. Um, but they gave us the Saint Tropez Luxe Whipped Cream Mousse, which sounds sexy and delicious. Okay. So a, a mousse, like a luxe creamy tanning mousse. Um, and then they gave us a self tan luxe body serum. I don't really know the difference between these things. I'm going to need some help. I guess it's just like a matter of which um, thing you like, which application you prefer but they all have uh their na it's natural ingredients and uh niacinamide which is uh, and hyaluronic acid vitamin b b5 and collagen boosting so it's supposed to be obviously have skincare built into it oh wait 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 this is a no rinse ultra lightweight serum to hydrate smooth and even your skin tone while delivering a natural streak feet streak free sun kiss glow what i don't understand so you do apply this with the mitt your natural looking tan subtly develops over eight hours. No need to rinse. And then you can reapply it after 24 hours for a deeper color. Exfoliate and moisturize regularly to prolong your, gl your glow. So if you exfoliate, does it not take it off? I'm going to need some answers on this. Let's look at it. I'm confused. Like, I need to be able to tell you guys what's the best self-tanner. Okay, do any among you consider yourselves to be a self-tanning expert? And if you do, what's your favorite product? What are your hacks? I've been asking people, so obviously I asked like the celebrity self tanner who does like Ashley Graham's, the Kardashian, she's done like tons of celebrities. And she told me that you can't apply too much. And I don't know if that's true for San Tropez or just any of them. Cause I think once your skin reaches its like saturated point, it's done. So she said, load the mid up and apply in circular motions. I'll get into all of it in the real video, but she was saying like, once you are sure you've applied it with the guide color, because like it has like a dye built in so you can see where it's gone. Once you apply it all over, you can't like over apply is what they're saying. It's not like you wouldn't like go over a second area and there's a streak. Do you know what I mean? It's by missing areas that you get a streak. So that's what she told me. She gave me a few other hot tips that I am like, filing away for when we do a tanning video if you guys want one um i haven't even figured out the logistics i'll just have to wear like a bralette and underwear or something and then like after after i'm done showing you guys i'll like quickly get naked but um i still have i have a tan line because i wore paper underwear with sophie because i don't i didn't i never met her and i'm like i'm not gonna be completely completely naked um exfoliate and moisturize dry areas da, 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 da. yeah it's the same thing so no rinsing on this one next they told me about something you could apply. Ooh, the Lux Tan Drops. Oh my gosh, okay. I've heard good things about this. Is this the thing? No. You know what I was really hoping to get? They had like a, oh, this is what it was. It's the serum. She said you could apply the serum to make the tan last. Like you can continuously apply the serum. So she said after about four or five days with this tan of moisturizing it every day, you can start to add the serum and it can help prolong the tan and kind of like add color on top so you don't like just like start to speckle away. If that makes sense, it can transition you a little better and make you hold on to it longer. Um, but this is self tan tonic drops. Ashley Graham tonight was saying she loves adding these drops and things. And she said like add as many as you want, but don't. So don't. Cause she said, uh, up to six. She said she wouldn't recommend doing more than six. So I think I'll start at like three or four tanning drops. I've used other brands of, but I've never tried the Saint Tropez drops, but I think Sparky and I might go to Saint Tropez this summer. Oh, it's just like a nice little, this would be perfect for travel because you can add it to your lotion, just like any body lotion that you're using, even like the hotel lotion, like whatever you have, and you can just keep your glow going your whole trip. Okay, well, I'm set up for the summer. Oh, the other thing, oh, okay, why, I'm just hungry because this is, self tan berry sorbet and it's a limited edition fragrance and for some reason it made me like thirsty and hungry a bronzing mousse uh, it's, it's just it has a good yummy smell so this is bronzing mousse and this is the luxe whipped mousse the serum and the drops listen we've got a lot of tanning products to try out i don't really know i feel like if we did the mitt with the luxe the one that's got me the most excited is the luxe whipped cream mousse and then i feel like i would use the serum maybe like after the big application. And then I feel like for my face, I'll probably always want to use the drops and just mix it with my favorite moisturizer. I used to do that and you just wake up feeling like so beautiful. 
I remember when I used to have my lashes and like I would self tan. I would just wake up with just those two things and I'd be like, ah, what a nice day. <laughs> It's the little things. All right, well, that's a nice goodie bag. I'm stoked. I'm all set for the summer. I, one of the things I feel like I've never quite perfected is my perfect self tan. I've had friends kind of help me. Allie's done it, Callie's done it. I've never assigned Chris to it yet. I've had, I had an ex to it once and I'm probably not gonna do that again. He did a horrible job. But I've had like girlfriends do it for me and that's real friendship right there. All right, we are going to get I'm ready. I have music going, so it'll probably have to get chopped up a lot. So it's not like copyrighty. I forget about these things. I just put on like mellow nighttime playlist and I'm living. I don't know if they made it just for me, but these are like two of my favorite songs already that I love to listen to. Um, the first one is Marcus Mumford and I can't remember who it's with. It's called Go and Light, beautiful. They're just like mellowy vibes. Okay, this is a tip that I got from a facialist the sunday riley like official esthetician and she recommended these face halos i bought these in london but they sell them all over but i used to be so bad about not taking off my makeup and i still am not great but i'm so much more likely to take it off now that i have this thing this is harvest moon which is another really good this is the i think this is the lord huron huron version anyway so you just get this wet you don't have to use any product on it and in fact you're not supposed to although since I have my spray tan on I wonder if this is going to be too rubby I feel like I might want to just use something more gentle you know what I'm going to do normally I remove all my makeup with this and it just makes everything so much easier and then I'll just do like a quick wash if possible but something about this dripping down it's just too much for me but I will use this on my like lashes like on my eyelids just to kind of like dab my mascara off Oy. I didn't think that through, did I? Well, we're gonna wash it with the most gentle thing I have, which is what I use a lot, which is the Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip. It was really jamming out. Um, Yeah, just gonna wash my face with this because it's nice and gentle. And then I just, wanna I just wanna get my mascara off. Actually, I think I'm gonna start using a lash serum. I got the, I think it's the Grande Lash one. I got it in like a gift bag. And I was gonna try it. Um, I had used Latisse like back in the day, but then I read something about it that it was like not good. But let's be honest, isn't everything in this world just like actually not good for us? Um, but my friend Sarissa, I don't know if I already did a video on this. I can't remember where I share what, but anyway, I'm obsessed with these little things that just like make everything so much easier when you're washing your face because it, when it drips down, it doesn't just like ruin your life, you know? I realize it's like the, the like sensory things that annoy me are what keep me from doing something. And we're not doing that anymore. We're finding workarounds. So I'm just honestly trying to maintain the tan on my face as best I can. And then as soon as that goes, um, I think I will, like as soon as I see it start to get like pale again, cause it's the first thing that goes cause we're always washing our face, doing makeup. Um, I'm gonna start using those drops. And then when the whole body starts to go, that sounds bad, I'm gonna use the serum and I'll keep you guys posted. I'm trying to like make sure all the mascara is off. Honestly, that should be clean enough. You know, we just took our makeup off and sometimes that's all we can ask for. I inevitably wake up every morning with like mascara under my eyes. It's just the way it's always gonna be apparently. Um, but since again, I have tanner on, I'm not gonna use my normal exfoliating stuff. So like normally I would use this like Paula's Choice toner that I've been really loving. I would use all kinds of other stuff that might be like exfoliating or like to work, like get rid of dead skin, but I don't want that right now. So I'm just gonna use, um, this is just the current eye cream that I'm using. It is um, You To The People. If you love Autocorrect by Sunday Riley, you're supposed to love this. I love Autocorrect, I'm just out of it. Um, I think I have like a squirt left. Do I have more? Let's see. Oh, there's a, no, there's like a dry squirt. I should probably throw that away. What I do love about autocorrect is it has this like iridescent sheen to it. I thought I would just show you guys. This one is the Youth to the People and it also has that iridescent shine to it. And then this one is the Sunday Rail. It's a little thicker. Um, this one's more like wet and this one's a little bit more like dry and pasty. Um, but, uh, the Sunday Riley one has a little bit more of the like pearlescent look to it, which the reason 
I'm talking about that is because it really does help to like deflect the light around the eyes. And um, I don't know if you guys, I think if you watched the vlog around when I went to um, the Downton Abbey red carpet event with Sunday Riley, Josephine Scriver, the supermodel, uses autocorrect all over her face as like a base because of how glowy and luminous it is. So anyway, um, but I'm just using the Used to the People one that I just got and I really like it and it's a depuffing one. Um, I've been really diligent about my lymphatic drainage massage like as I'm getting ready in the morning and I really do think it helps like depuff because I honestly have like hooded eyes or so I thought but since I've been doing the lymphatic like I just feel like they're brighter they're more open there's more lid I don't know what's going on and then my face feels really dry so I want to use something like really moisturizing but I'm keeping it pretty simple I have this like TNS advanced serum it's like a like a med spa grade I got it in a gift bag once it's like a $300 product and then I bought it once after because they convinced me that it worked and now I'm just using up the rest of this and I just don't think that's a habit that we can afford to maintain okay it's just too much I kind of high low on my skincare but I definitely do like my my skincare products yeah I'm just gonna go in with like a moisturizer now because I just really want to keep this tan going so I'm just trying to give my face as much moisture as possible and then I have this Charlotte Tilbury nighttime sleeping cream, but I'm concerned there might be oil in it. Not to say that's like bad, like product wise. I'm just saying like, I'm afraid that it might be too like heavy and that it might actually like hurt the tan. Otherwise I would use that. It's almost like a slugging product. And I don't think anything that's like slugging vibes. I'm scraping to the bottom of this moisturizer. This is the Sunday Riley Ice. Gosh, it smells so good. I literally don't even think I have enough for my face. Every day I keep using it and putting it back and being like expecting magically there to be more tomorrow. It is completely empty. Well, this has become an empties video. Who knew? You know what? I'm just gonna go in with my trusted Nivea Soft moisturizing cream. This stuff is so good. It smells so good. It's a really good makeup primer. I have like a little travel size one that I travel with that I use as my moisturizer, like uh, just all over moisturizer and um, as a primer when I'm traveling because it takes up so much less space than all the million primers that I have. Oh, this feels so much better. I just want to maintain the tan. We have to maintain the tan. Feeling good. I'm just gonna add some lip stuff. Just kidding. He loves me in all my stages. He actually loves these pajamas. I should film him coming in because I would be willing to bet money that he'll be like, cute pajamas. He'll probably say that. He really, he always notices things. That's something I really love about him is that he notices me, he sees me, like what I'm wearing. He notices when I change my hair. He, know, he wants to see my nails when I come back. It's so precious. And he's really sad if I'm not ever wearing his ring. Like sometimes I'll put it in the dish to like wash my face and stuff and he'll be like, Oh, okay. It's so sad. He's home. Let's go greet him at the front door and just be happy. We never get weeknights together. I look pretty. I look pretty. What do you like? <laughs> I was wondering if you're going to notice that I wear my pajamas. I'm cute.